Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus. And in this episode of our season as Justin Allgaier and his number 7 precision build, precision tank, car. It's got different sponsors on every damn corner of it. But we're going to Auto Club Speedway for the Production Alliance Group 300. Now, originally I was going to go with the, the primary one, but we've used that for like the first two races of the season. I, I think at this point we should go with something that matches what this, this coloring of the, the race logo is. Last episode, Raced at Vegas, I could have won that, or at least finished decently. But instead, I, I got a 15th place finish because I, I lost a bunch of spots trying to enter pit road. The freaking commitment cone didn't detect me going on the left side of it, which you're supposed to do. But yeah, right now, we are... 24 points behind Harrison Burton, if my math is correct. Hopefully it's not, because that'll make me look stupid. I enjoy looking stupid. Hmm. It is 24. Dang it. I'm smart. Well, that sucks. No, you no, know, no, I ain't having no practice sessions. We're just going to go to qualifying. No practice today. Or ever. Uh, let me set that to Wicked Loose. It's a bumpy track. It'd be tight, and I want this car to steer some way without going like deep into the custom setup crap. That take care of. They want us to get a 39-4. I'll go get a 41 or something. Dang, look at this thing, man. The car actually looks really nice out here. We start our one and only qualifying lap. I'll oh, see. This is why I love Auto Club Speedway. It's so freaking bumpy. Feels so good just looking. I ain't got a vibration. I can see the vibration, dog. Bruh. Yeah, I can, like, look at this. You can see it. I, I, I feel what I am seeing right now. This track looks freaking gorgeous on the Switch, by the way. I mean, for Nintendo standards, they're so behind on technology. I am going to miss turn three. Fuck my ass. I, if I could have turned in down the corner a, a little bit later, that would have been nice. And, yeah, almost 41 seconds. 40 point... 8th, 14th. Is that the third time in a row I've qualified 14th? I feel like I did that in the first few races. It's just that was a week ago, so it's hard to remember. But your pole sitter is Jeffrey Earnhardt in his Oreo-looking car. Does this game have a thing for Jeffrey Earnhardt? Because, I mean, he's starting to turn out to be pretty good driving that three-car Dega, but that's just Dega. I have moved up to 13th. Why? About to find out. Which of these poor souls got sent to the back? Uh, that looks lovely. David Starr? Or Justin Haley? It had to be Justin Haley. Because, I mean, freaking David Starr, he doesn't really run that well. I mean, people would like him to at the Whataburger. I don't like Whataburger. It's too much mustard. Usually, I don't bother asking for no mustard. I just take it as it is, and it's not too much. But I don't like it whenever I just ask for a burger, and by default, I'm just mostly tasting mustard. And that was my experience with Whataburger. It's between them and Sonic of the people that will give you a burger 24 hours in most cases. Sonic? Uh, it, it's more like they open like really early in the morning and they'll serve you freaking anything, not just breakfast. I hate the thought of getting off of work in the morning and then the food industry has no you know, concern or, or respect for the people that work overnight. I mean, I'm just a security guard, but then you know, the people... They, they work the hospital, or the fire department, or the, the the police department. All these people. And then you want to serve them breakfast when they're ready for dinner, bitch. Fuck that. That's why I have, I, I have a, at least a little respect for Sonic. And Whataburger. Because I don't know much about Whataburger aside from what they do with the 24 hours. What would make my freaking life be a 24-hour Dairy Queen? And then it'd be like five minutes away. God dang it. I'll just blow my life savings on 24-hour Dairy Queen. I mean, it's not that great, but the you know, ice cream, that's good stuff. What is this, a Kamikaze Games video where I don't just talk about the shit that's happening on the screen, telling you everything so you don't even have to watch the video? Yeah, so that, that's, that's good commentary, I guess. But yeah, what a burger. Mustard burger. Kamikaze likes Whataburger, but I swear he only had it for the first time in Texas, and he got one thing there, and so it's like, he's, it's like his big thing. I didn't think he had Whataburger before that. He definitely ain't had Popeyes. Now he probably has a pretty good 
uh, opinion and perspective of Popeyes. As someone from Louisiana, and it's called like the Louisiana Kitchen, they really are that freaking great. I, I lived throughout my life, and Popeyes is, is outdoes everyone's fried chicken. So we're just talking about food. Fuck Auto Club. This is the Food Club. It's not Food City. It's Food Club now. So it's eight laps in this first stage, and I'm just chilling like a villain. Jeffrey Earnhardt started on pole. He has dropped back to sixth. Um, no, that's seventh. I don't know. You thought I was good at math. Then I wasn't. Well, he's about to fall even further back. It's like he went to the inside, but he was still running slower than Briscoe, who had the high lane. What's weird is they didn't do this in NASCAR 8-4. They're sucking into the ground. It's not the, the same ground-sucking vacuum thing as the EA games where you can go to a road course. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hopefully. But it's more like it's just part of their animation. They're supposed to do that, and they don't have the AI set to do it. See, my car doesn't go into the ground, but theirs do because, you know, they're AI. I mean, it's... The whole race and running of the game is affected in the EA games. Whenever you just touch somebody at a road course, it just sucks you into the ground and it looks ugly. <laughs> Look at that. that. looks so fucking weird. I am working on passing Anthony Alfredo. But after I do that, I think I'm going to stall out because he's all on his own here. I'm all on my own here with him. I'm not going to have the draft of those guys to catch them. They're still having at it, racing stuff. I think their tires last longer. Maybe they have more overall grip as well. That, that's what's rough with the AI is that unless you have the custom setup on and all that special stuff, not only do your tires not last, but you also just lack in grip in general. It's the last lap of the stage. We'll get, uh, I think this is four stage points. Let's say playoff points. Well, that's not the playoffs. You get a playoff point for winning a stage and winning races. But, uh, no, not for just finishing somewhere in a stage. Yeah, that, that's four. Uh, it could have been more if I got past Alfredo quicker. And I don't know if I would have even caught him no matter how I took turn one on that last lap of the stage. But, let me go ahead and... I'm not fixing that. The car is still running fine. We'll get four tires for sure. Gosh, the... The right front is having it. Everything else seems quite reasonable. I have to fill the tank. Get it to 10 laps. I don't want to go for 9. And go all the way. Even though it's only 8 laps in the stage. Mike Lynette just gained a spot. Maybe he decided to take one less lap of fuel. Make it a little slightly quicker stop. I don't know if it really changes anything to take a slight bit less of fuel whenever it takes longer just to change all four tires. No one has talked about some of these things that much, but uh, these big changes they made for like the look of NASCAR was just for the Cup Series. You still have the five lug nut pit stops in the trucks and Xfinity, and then they're still doing the door numbers there as well. And speaking of that whole number thing, I was uh, watching back at the highlights from an old stream, because I'm thinking about making... That NASCAR 09 stream into highlights, that's going to take fucking forever, seven hour stream. But I was looking back at the old highlights of NASCAR Revolution, the PC game from 99, and the fantasy cars had their numbers in the place of these next gen cars. <laughs> Not the ones on your stream, but in reality. You know, the next gen, they pushed the numbers forward. It was so weird because I was looking back at the highlights of the NASCAR Revolution. You can find that in the playlist somewhere. But I was like, so these fancy cars all have their numbers pushed forward. Not all of them, just some of them. Yeah, yeah, we're in the battle with these leaders. Alfredo's driving an Alfredo car or something. Maybe he is, I have no idea. Ralph's. Apple Dabble Dons. I can't, I can't fucking read that. Oh, I don't like, I don't like the, the amount of camera changes I am doing right now. This is some real Radman shit where I change the camera five times in five seconds. We're doing four wide. Daniel Hemrick. Oh. Al Geyer don't need the hemorrhoids today. You're supposed to be a teammate. I can make these moves. 
And then I got Algaier doing this shit too. Oh man, out of front grip. Yeah, I can hang on to the draft, but I can't make moves. I need the whole track. Pass one car at a time. I can't pass five cars. Maybe on a restart. First couple laps, but uh, no, it's gone now. Brisco is on the move. I think... I could have gotten more stage points. I was going to say a thing, and I didn't get to say it. But then I think this is pre-Cup Series Chase Briscoe. This is based off 2020. His rookie series was 2021. It's supposed to be 2021. That's what I selected, but they only do that for Cup in this game here. Because it's basically NASCAR Heat 5s with all the DLC. So, I, I'm going to take four tires because the left sides are just slightly worn, and that's, that's probably a big deal in the longevity of this final stage. Don't fix the damage. We're fine. It's still just two seconds anyways. And now, you just take one can. I lost a spot to Michael Annette. What is Michael Annette doing? He just has this Superman pickery that can somehow change four tires faster. He only gains one spot, and he gains it on one guy every time. This time I had to do it. Weirdness. Weirdnessity. Strange. Yes, strange issue. You see what I'm talking about? I can pass a bunch of cars on a restart. Probably pass all these guys right here if I get the proper run off of two. Um, I'm trying to keep drafting myself in the right spot to keep the run going as long as possible. And we'll go ahead and send it in on Austin Sendrick. And I did not succeed. I tried to get a side draft out of that, and I didn't. I just got tight and said, why are you dumping? Like, he didn't back off after fucking up the corner. But he went ahead and pushed up against my quarter panel instead. And I still, I passed a bunch of freaking cars at the restart. But, uh, yeah, that grip goes away quickly. It is hard to have a good corner whenever I'm not in my own freaking lane and have the whole track. It, it really just ruins us, because we don't have the car for that. It's so weird watching these cars get sucked into the ground. Oh, they're just begging for their souls to not go the wrong way. Oh, my God. I made a better corner than Daniel Hemrick right there. That's a rarity. Usually, they always get the better corners than me. Do, do, do. I, it says Annette is trying to work with me. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Driving through the middle. Let off. Keep on letting off. They're racing it side by side. But they're AI, so I don't think they're really slowed down by being side by side so much. Uh, if one guy is slow and one guy is fast, then yeah, the slow guy can slow down the fast guy. But if they're both leaders and they're going to run a certain way. Did you see that? What was that wanky wonky? Dude. <laughs> Michael Annette just had a absolute spasm. He's still with me. But we're in it. Um, we're just now getting to the halfway point. This is a long, long final stage. Oh my god. Fuck you. Fuck you, Alex LeBay. Fuck you. This guy, he's got a plan. Man with the plan, Alex LeBay over here. The Roo. The Roo! Did you ask? You gonna go take the lead? You just shoved me out of the way. You gonna take the lead or are you just gonna sit here and hold me up? I guess Alex LeBay is gonna take the lead from Austin Sindrick because that makes sense. You gonna take it from Harrison Burton because that makes all these things make sense. I think they're a lot more consistent with this crap in the Cup Series. They weren't even that consistent with the Truck Series of getting drivers to run right. But it was still more consistent with getting the right drivers running well in that series versus this one. Clay Greenfield was always slow in the truck series. Ugh. And a caution comes out. Just as I'm about to run out of gas, I guess. Again, I'm not going to fix that two seconds of damage. I'll get four tires, and we're going to lose a bunch of spots because they won't. But we'll be faster than them. I think we'll be faster than them. I need to fill the tank. We'll get four tires. And we're not pairing that damage. In the final stage of these races in these NASCAR Heat games, they just never take tires. They rarely do. So I'm expecting to lose like 20 spots here. Oh wow, I only lost seven. Well, Cindric, Harrison Burton, 
they both decided to get tires and everything. All these guys in front of us are probably like really slow folks that might have already pit. Maybe some of them actually decided to not take tires or just two tires. I just know they're going to be slower than everyone else and we should have a really easy time passing them. So I don't know where Alex LeBay is because like... Well, I think he went down pit road. Yeah, LeBay went down pit road before that caution came out. I'm stupid. Short turn memory. And so I guess now he's the leader, right? That, that's his blue ass up there. Yeah, I see you. You're already throwing it away to Michael Annette. Ugh. Keep it down here. Great recovery from Justin Haley at the moment, but that might not last with him taking a pit stop before the caution. I don't think it really matters. He probably has to keep the track position. Usually this is not how it plays out, but they didn't get put a lap down. They headed down pit road, and then the caution came out, so they just didn't have to change tires because they were already there. Now, if you go down pit road whenever the caution is already out, then yeah, it's closed. It doesn't work like that. But they didn't get put a lap down either. So I guess that's how it works in reality. I'm, I'm trying to validate how this game is, is working. I guess all this makes sense. You are a dumbass. My, I, I hate the situation I'm in right now as, as far as like the lane and not having the room to take corners properly. I liked what we had earlier. I want to get back to that. Got 10 laps left and we started two laps ago. So we're going to be like a few laps short. It's going to be a really weird finish if they don't throw no damn caution. Oh my god, where's the grip? God, this sucks. Okay, well I have someone to draft with now. And if he's fast and can close that gap, then I guess it's good. Go. Go. Come on. Move it. Running out of laps. I'm trying to gain track position before pit stops happen and then I lose even more time. Brandon Jones over here is pushing me. Let off. This is a very intriguing race. This is a good race. Ugh. It's like I started catching him, but then he caught me. Well, I had to, like, let him go. So if he can actually catch them, we can both do that. And I can fight. Oh, Harrison Burton's blowing up. Can you get off the track and not bring out a caution? Yeah, and you stupid fucking idiot. I guess I'm just going to... Take right side tires and enough fuel to get to the end of the race by the same AI standards, probably. And I gained a spot. Well, well, we'll get there. I think we'll get there. It's the right front that gets the worst. And then also the right rear probably as well. It's going to be a three-lap dash to the end. I'm just, like, uncertain because I'm very much used to them I'm just not taking tires whenever it's such a bumpy damn track. So I'm like, I'm trying to get tires, but not get too many tires. I mean, I kind of don't want to win this race off a freaking restart. I'd rather just get the position I deserve, and it's definitely not first after how this race has gone. I've been like a fourth, fifth place car. We did run third for a very long time. So I just have to protect, lead, and block the whole track for... Another two laps. I am very much lacking in grip. Someone's coming somewhere, making a move, and I can't see it. There's Cindric. I will block Cindric. You, you will not do that. Oh my god, these AI are like literally carbon copies of EA Sports AI. Oh my god! See, I can't block because I don't know where he is. And my spotter is a dumbass. He doesn't tell me anything. Doesn't tell me where the runs are coming from. Don't tell me what they're planning. I have no way of knowing where they're going to be. Unless I just blindly don't pay attention to the road in front of me. Turn my head a full 180 degrees. Ugh. Well, we're coming. That, that's, uh, that's filthy. We are coming to the white flag. Try to side draft him to lead. I don't know if we led coming to the white flag. But can we keep it? Will it will be Alex LeBay who's been pushing me. The LaRue car. Oh, they're all back there behind us waiting for something to happen. He's getting a run, trying to take it down low. Now he's going back up top. I wouldn't know. 
I, I don't know about this. I don't know. Trying to get the first dub. They let off really early. Get down. Oh, well, I'll have a runoff. I'll have a runoff. Oh, I stopped steering. I, I was... Fuck. I was trying to reduce the... F the scrubbing off the speed by steering less. And it ended before we got to the line anyways. I don't think I would have won because... I wouldn't have the time to keep the run going. Apparently, everybody finished a lap down. Even the guy that won the race. I guess that makes sense if... They end the race a lap early. You know? Uh, Cindric third with a stage win. Brandon Jones, fifth with a stage win. And, uh... I got some stage points in there. Ran good. That is my the best finish yet this season. Didn't I also finish second at Daytona, though? So I, I guess I'm, I'm tying that up. And here's the, the rest of his results. Kind of, sort of. I want to see the point standings. We are now just 10 points behind Harrison Burton. So that is a gain. Gain made. Yes. Well, uh, thanks for watching this episode of the NASCAR Heat Let's Play. Uh, tomorrow we're going to Phoenix. Stupid Cox. That track is hard as shit, and I'm going to need a custom setup. I will use the primary paint scheme again. I'm only going to use the throwback for the throwback race. I will start using this now. I, I've warmed up to it. It's not so boring whenever you actually race with it. But freaking Phoenix. Uh, see you next time. That's that, and episode over.